G'day. We want you to be safe at work. Titan is proud of its safety record, and you need to be proud of yours. As an operator, you're responsible for the safe operation of equipment while it's on the site, but also for the safety and maintenance checks that will ultimately keep you and those working around your crane safe. Whether you're an experienced operator or new on the job, we'd appreciate you taking time to watch this short training video about filling out the daily check sheet. This is Mike. He's going to run you through the safety checks you need to keep an eye on. G'day, Mike. This is your logbook. It's the Bible for making sure that all machinery is safe and fit for purpose. Don't forget it's all about doing a good job of the check. The paperwork is a necessary record that it has been done. The logbook should be kept in the cab of the crane. It's a good plan to check that you have the right one. The fleet number, the make, model, serial number and registration. This is all listed in the top right section of the form. You also need to check that all the documents you need to work legally on site or travel on the road are in place and up to date. These include the vehicle registration, current certificate of inspection and a current certificate of fitness. Make sure that you also have other permits that might be needed, such as an overweight permit and over-dimension specific permit. If any of the vehicle certificates or permits are expired, don't use the machine. Before starting up, check everything, except the crane functions. Once you are set up on site, Check your crane functions. The daily check sheet is divided into sections, each with a list of items so that you can check them off as you work your way around the crane. Inspect like a champ. The name of the game is check it, mate. Don't be tempted to just tick it, mate. Take a good look at everything. Be hands-on. Try things out and make sure they're working. Don't just assume. The job is to make sure you can do a safe day's work. It's not just ticking the boxes. What if something is wrong? Say something. Marking a fault on the check sheet will not get it repaired. If something needs looking at, get a 301 form from dispatch, fill it out and hand it in to your branch manager. Oil levels, checked it. Coolant levels, check brake fluid, battery and V-belts for condition and tension, fuel levels, check. Also, remember to refuel before you knock off. Moving on to the carrier. Check tyre pressure and condition. Any cuts or damage there, Mike? Check the wheel nuts. Where are those indicators? Drain the air tank. Check steering function, brake function, Good. And cup holders. Oh, mate. Check that your lights, horn, and gauges are all working properly. And that loose items in the cab are stored, secured, or removed. Once all your checks are made and everything is in order, it's safe to set up the crane. Carefully and methodically as you set up, check that everything moves easily and smoothly as it should. It's easy to leave items that could fall off the machine, so you know, check it mate. Check the outriggers, check their safety pins, check that the safety pins or nappy pins are all in the right places and in good order. Check the slew, check the boom raising and lowering, Check that the extension retraction motion is working smoothly and all necessary parts are lubricated. Check the winch and the brakes. Check the condition of the wire rope and make sure it's tightly wound on the drum. Check sheaves. Give the sheaves a spin. Check for play. Check the structural components, for example, by walking around and looking at the boom, chassis, and outriggers, etc. You are looking for damage, cracks, or anything that doesn't look right. 
Check hooks and latches. Check your safe load indicator is working. And it would be good to know the anti-2 block is operational. Seriously, you need to check it. Check fluid levels. If the tank is low, fill it up. The condition of hoses and connections should be noted too. What next? If you find a fault that could be a safety sensitive issue, contact your branch manager or dispatcher. You are the best person for letting us know about any safety or maintenance issues that the crane might have. After hours, is there another machine you can use? If there is, don't forget to check that too. An accurate paper record of the safety check is a requirement. So you need to stay on the case, mate. If everything is fine at the end of the week, take your completed check sheet to dispatch for filing. Thanks for watching, and remember to check it, mate.